What's up everybody, Alex from 20 Gaming TV, back with another MLB The Show 17 video. Today we're going to be playing the first game or two of our best, probably overall team that I've had all year. Uh, we got 99 Miggy, 92 Sean Green, 90 Jose Bautista. So we just have an overall pretty solid hitting team, and then we actually have a solid bullpen. We got like Felipe Rivero, Flashback David Price, Carl Edwards Jr., Luke Gregerson. Overall, I just have a really well-rounded team, and I'm hoping that I can play well enough with this well-rounded team. You guys obviously know I struggle with swinging at the first pitch, so I really don't want to do that today. I'm not doing like another challenge where I slap my face or anything, but I'm really going to try to uh, not swing at the first pitch but it's a lot easier for me to say than actually do we're looking to go 1-0 right now with this lineup maybe 2-0 in this video just kind of depends on how long and how the first game goes but hoping to go at least starting off 1-0 This guy has Trey Turner, 98 Luis Gonzalez, 84 Corey Dickerson, and Brandon Bell, Joey Gallo, Chris Young, Ben Zobers, Sandy Leon, and Justin Nicolino on the mound. We got Joe Musgrove on the mound, and look at that amazing top of our lineup. Oh, those three diamonds are beautiful right there. Of course, we got to start out by warming up our pitchers. I think I'm going to go ahead and warm up uh, probably Felipe Rivero, and then I think Carl Edwards Jr. Both of those guys are going to be the two that we... Uh, are kind of going with for the entire BR as long as they continue to do well for me at least oh first pitch and he's getting a base hit that kind of sucks so my pitchers aren't ready but he has three lefties in a row um I think I'm gonna go ah oh, man this is tough can I bring in like a lefty like just Alex Claudio I cannot Ooh, okay I think I'm going to try to just get him stealing, throw changeups low, and hope he steals, and I can maybe get a strikeout as we're doing this. I really don't want to throw a pitch that's hittable right here, but I also don't want to just give up a, a walk. Okay. Um, I'll take that getting one out. I was thinking about going to second, but I wanted to at least get an out here. Now we're probably going to bring in Felipe Rivera just because he has three lefties in a row again. So he had four lefties in a row. Uh, and maybe even more. I don't know who's batting after Joey Gallo. I'm hoping I can do solid with Felipe in this BR. That's going to be huge if I can. And we got him at third. Easy peasy. Let's go! Nice catch and throw. Perfect. I really, really need to focus like every single game in this BR and make sure that I get the dub every game. I really, I think this is the team that will get to me 12-0. If any team's going to get me 12-0 this year, I think this is the team. And uh, it's just going to be a matter of me being patient and not making stupid mistakes with bringing in guys, not bringing in pitchers, just all that stuff. It's going to be a matter of me playing smart. That was a good pitch to hit. It was low in the zone, but I, I can't first pitch swing. I got to be patient. I got to watch a lot of pitches. I really need to. I need to play smart. Like I was just saying, I need to play smart and uh, swinging at the very first pitch of the game. Probably not super smart. We're currently on the sixth pitch of the at bat with uh, 99 Miggy, so maybe I'm doing solid even though there's only one ball. Oh, and it's going to be a leadoff base hit. Hell yeah, I'll take that for sure. He's bringing in Koji Iyuhara. He had a lefty on the mound, but I mean, it's his starting pitcher. But he still brought in a righty to face uh, Sean Green. So I'm kind of happy about that. I'm hoping I can make him pay for bringing in a righty right here. Sean Green, that's going to drive in Miggy, I hope. He has 28 speed, so it's going to be close. That's going to be really... I don't know if I should have gone... Let's go! I should not have gone, honestly. Like, I really shouldn't have gone if the relay and third of the catcher were, were perfect. He would have had me out by a lot. If they were good, he would have had me out by still probably a lot. But luckily, it was just kind of a mess up third of the catcher. We're at one and nothing now. I'll take it for sure. But I, I regretted going as I saw how close that was going to be. And now Jose Bautista getting into one. Three to nothing lead. Oh my goodness. What an inning so far. Whenever I get a lead, I always get impatient. I need to just kind of play how I'm always playing. Maybe, maybe play like I'm losing all the time. If I play like I'm losing all the time, maybe I'll be more patient and, uh, and do better hitting wise. Oh, I think that's going to be our first end of the inning. Sad. <laughs> Yeah, first pitch swinging on Angel Pagan, of course, getting an out. But I've been doing pretty well this inning. Honestly, like the first three batters of the game were really, really good. Now I just need to uh, hold this lead. That's that's the next thing I'm going to be worried about. He brings in Tyler Lyons, a lefty, to face my righty. I'm a little bit surprised about that, but I guess. 
And we're probably going to be flying that one out. Yeah, should be an easy fly out. We got three runs in the first inning, though, going to the top of the second, hoping Felipe Rivero can uh, carry us through the second inning. I went off speed for the first two pitches. I did a slider and a changeup, so I'm going to go back with the slider. And uh, if we don't strike him out or get him out on this pitch, I'll probably go fastball now high and inside just because it will be the only fastball I've thrown. And maybe he won't be expecting it. Awesome. It didn't look like he was. First out, got the strikeout. I'm loving Felipe Rivera. I'm really glad we ended up drafting him and we're able to draft him. I'm glad he showed up in a round. Oh, making him look silly on that swing. I kind of want to go right back to the slider now, try and do it again. Got him, baby. Second strike out of the inning. One out to go now here in the top of the second. Got him, baby. Let's go. Kind of got a call from the umpire. Still hate variable umpires, but I'll take it. Third down in the inning. Andrelton Simmons now up to bat. Bottom of the second. Up by three. I'm feeling good. Yeah, so we swung into the first pitch and got out. Uh, like I said at the beginning, I got to be more patient. I do have three runs, though, and uh, that makes me feel good. I'm, I'm really happy I'm at least already winning. When I when I get out swinging at the first pitch, I just remember I'm winning, and I'm like, I guess <laughs> that's okay. Eric Karos. Oh, man, got on top of that one a little bit. Uh, I think our pitcher spot's coming up to bat, maybe. Yeah, Felipe Rivero. Let's see who he has. So he has switch, switch, lefty. I think I'm going to go ahead and just leave Felipe in. Oh, man. does He He has his lefty on the mound. Okay. Adonis Garcia, uh, I might as well try and use somebody else in my bullpen. Just kind of get a feel for somebody. Two switch hitters. Either way, I'm going to be at a little bit of a disadvantage. So maybe just get a feel for David Price, uh, Gregerson, just anyone in my bullpen. He just brought in Steve Ciszek. I've been facing Steve Ciszek in a lot of Battle Royale games lately. Uh, I've, been, I've been going up against this guy quite a bit. And that's going to be the third end of the inning. Adonis Garcia not going to successfully get a pinch hit or anything. But top of the third, we have allowed one base hit and we're up by three runs. I'm going to go ahead and try, I think, Carl Edwards Jr. I don't think I've used him this year. So I want to get a feel for his pitches in motion a little bit right here. And uh, just kind of see what he can do. We have Ben Zobers down to two strikes. Uh, I'm going to try to strike him out with the changeup, and I have a feeling he's going to foul it off. Yeah, he's going to foul it off, so maybe we'll go to the outside fastball. This guy's watched quite a few fastballs, like low in the zone this game, and I'm thinking I'll watch this one here. Got him, baby. Strike three. Two outs away from starting off 1-0 right now. Let's go. We struck him out. I was just throwing a pitch to throw a pitch. I didn't even realize that uh, there are two strikes, man. I was, I kind of zoned down a little bit that at bat, but that's okay. Uh, he's bringing in Jock Peterson to face Mr. Carl Edwards Jr. One out away from starting off 1-0 here in this BR. We might have just given up a home run. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> swung way too in front of it. I think I'm going to try to strike him out with a changeup. Throw the strike or throw the changeup just low in the zone or maybe even high or a curveball. We're going to throw a curveball high in the zone. I'm a little bit indecisive right here, but just looking for that last strike out of the game. I, I hung a change up high in the zone thinking he would swing way ahead of it. It didn't happen. <laughs> That's okay, though. Carl Edwards Jr., man, he's solid. That's not his fault. That's absolutely my fault. I purposely hung a slider high in the zone just to try and fool him a little bit. Now he's getting another base hit, though, uh, after I throw a pitch down the middle. The tying run is up to the plate. This is what I was talking about when I said I can't make stupid mistakes. This is exactly what I was talking about. Uh, I can't hang a change or, give, or hang a curveball, give up a home run. I can't throw a fastball down the middle. All this stuff is stuff that I really cannot be doing, uh, but we might have just... Yeah, I think we just won the game right here. Yeah, we just won the game, y'all. GG's in the chat. GG's in the chat. We're 1 and I was about to say 3 no. We're 1 and 0 now in this battle royale. That was kind of a long pickle. A little bit of a long pickle, but we ended up pulling off with the dub. So Miguel Cabrera had a uh, leadoff single. Kind of got not. Uh, we got a little bit jammed, I think, and uh, he got a little bloop single to the outfield. Sean Green then doubling, and then Diamond Jose Bautista hitting a bomb. Man, it was amazing, and uh, we we won three to one. <laughs> Stupidly gave up a homer. We're gonna go ahead and try and go two and zero in this video and uh, get two BR games in one video for you guys. This guy has Charlie Blackman, 97 Goldie, Mike Moustakis, Matt Kemp, Deanna Navarro, 
Uh, Andrew McCutcheon, Adam Frazier, 86 Howie Kendrick, and 66 Jake Ariel on the mound. We got good old Jerome Williams on the mound. This dude finds his way into every single BR team of his. I'm not or of ours. I'm not really complaining though, because uh, he's had some solid outings. Gonna go ahead and warm up Mr. Felipe and Mr. Carl Edwards Jr. Our ERA with Carl is 13.5, and that's. That's my fault, y'all. I, I hung the curveball, you know? <laughs> uh, I purposely hung a curveball, and I'm sorry for Carl's ERA, but I know that I kind of like him. I like his pitches so far. Jerome Williams. One batter, one out. Angel Pagan able to get under that one, make the play for the first time at the inning. I'm going to go ahead and do a mound visit because I forgot to, and uh, our reliever should be ready after 97 Paul Goldie here. Hopefully... Hopefully Jerome can handle him. 68 versus 97, something like that. I think, what is Jerome? Is he 68 overall? I don't know. Jerome is low in terms of overall. Paul Goldschmidt's very high. So I'm really hoping Mr. Jerome can uh, pull through. Oh, good pitch from Jerome. Getting that 91 miles per hour by him. I'm going to go ahead and bring in Felipe Rivera. He has a lefty-righty switch hitter after him, uh, after Mike Moustakas. That's, that's who he has up to bat, man. I'm sorry. I'm... I'm falling over my words here but lefty righty switch it's okay for Felipe though he pitched well last game and I'm hoping he can do the same here one pitch one out I'll take that for sure Yadi Merlina should be able to make the play go into the bottom of the first inning 99 Miggy leading us off I kind of want to power swing with him but I've been struggling when I power swing recently but we'll see it's a common pitcher Jake Arrieta and uh, we'll just see what happens crowds chanting MVP 99 Miggy Watching a pitch, currently one and one in the count. I hope the crowd realizes that they, that they are witnessing the true MVP, man. He's about to go yaya here, so uh, just watch out. 99 Miggy, uh, watching ball four there. That was a really good at bat, seven pitches. That was a really, really good at bat from him. Diamond Sean Green up to bat now. Thinking about swinging that one, but I always struggle with these outside pitches here. As I swing at an outside pitch and send it pretty deep, I don't think that we're gonna ease. I don't think we're gonna get. A, I, I, I didn't think we were gonna get a base hit. That's what I was trying to say. I couldn't say it. I didn't think we were gonna get a base hit there, but we did. Jose Bautista has a chance for a three-run home run. I really don't know why he still has his common Jake Arrieta in to pitch. Uh, the count's three and one currently to Diamond Jose. I really am surprised though. He hasn't taken out this dude on the mound, uh, and I'm really surprised. I fly on a hanging curveball. I'm trash. <laughs> oh, Yadier Molina making a really nice uh, contact with that ball, getting the second out of the inning. Advancing the runners, though, second and third. Now we have, is it Angel Pagan? Yeah, Angel Pagan, switch hitter, up to bat, able to drive in two, maybe three, if he can get something going. 62 speed, we're going home, trying to get two here. I need two runs, baby. Give it to me. Charlie Blackman does not have a cannon. Let's go. Up two to nothing in this BR, bottom of the first. That's a huge hit from Angel Pagan following those uh, first two leadoff hits of the inning. And then the next two batters getting outs. But that's okay. We ended up scoring. I'll definitely take that. A two-run lead, Felipe Rivero. He only needs one anyways. Ooh, Matt Kemp flying that one out deep into the outfield. But out number one here in the second inning. I love Felipe Rivero. I'm really enjoying uh, him out of the bullpen here in this battle royale. It's only the second game uh, That I'm using him in this BR, but I'm still really enjoying him. There's another quick out Deanna Navarro He has some good pitches. I enjoy that There we go. Oh Andrew McCutcheon There we go. Was that a three pitch inning? No, I think we threw one to Matt Kemp that he fell Yeah, he fouled off the first with Matt Kemp before pitch inning though from Felipe for Felipe we still have a no hitter Perfect games have a deal going up two to nothing. Bottom of the second, he brings in Koji Iyuhara. I think we're gonna get some insurance runs in the inning. I really want to. Oh, I swung at the uh, second pitch of the inning, and yeah, pretty easy fly out. I knew where the, I didn't know where the pitch was gonna be, but I guessed that it was gonna be up here, and I still lowered my PCI, which is an issue I do a lot. There we go. <laughs> I always think those inside ones that I square up with good timing are uh, not going to be pulled foul, but it was literally in the middle of the PCI. It was an inside pitch, though. Um, so I understand why it's pulled foul. Look at the spray charts. 
of this guy. He's a pull hitter, 37% to left field. The only issue I have is that literally there were pitches inside that my opponent had good timing on that weren't even in the zone, because that one was in the zone. Uh, but there are pitches that weren't even in the zone, and my opponent, not this game, but previous games, hit him into the gap with good timing. And it just it's something I don't exactly understand. I don't understand variable umpires. That should have been a strike. Instead, we got a walk, but I don't know. There we go, Felipe Rivero helping himself out. That's going to get runners on the corners with only one down. 99 Maggie finding himself up to the plate again. Sorry for complaining again, though. I, I, I always say this in every video that I complain, or at least a, a few of them. I don't like complaining, and uh, I'm sorry when I do. It's just something's going to be frustrating or just not make sense to me. I guess that, that might be a better way to put it because I'm not really frustrated right now. Maggie lining that one into the outfield. Going to be runners on first and third again now with only one down. This time, Sean Green is coming up to bat. Sean Green, that's going to be a double play. Yeah, easy double play for him. But we got another run in the inning. We're up three to nothing. Felipe Rivero still on the mound for us. Trying to get three more outs, and then we win. There we go. That should be the first out of the inning. Nice play. Howie Kendra grounding it out to Miggy, 62 speed. Nice play from 99 Miggy, showing off the glove and the uh, running throw a little bit. He has Koji Iuhara up to back, and it'll be interesting to see who he brings in to pinch hit. Uh, I'm trying to cut down on the let's goes. I'm trying to cut down on the man. I'm trying to cut down on the bros. Uh, <laughs> that kind of rhymed. That kind of sounded like a little bit of a rap. I'm trying to cut down on stuff, though, in my videos that I say that might be annoying or repetitive, such as let's go. And man, I don't. I haven't been paying attention to man today, but I think I've been saying let's go only a couple times, not quite a bit. And I don't think it's necessarily an issue that I say that stuff a lot. It's just that it's the only thing I say. I don't really in my videos. I don't really say anything like there we go or let's get it or that's awesome. Booyah. I don't know. I'm trying to think of other stuff that I can say. I just really can't. But maybe you can let me know down in the comments. I've asked you a few times to do that. We started off this BR 2-0, though, you guys. I'm going to have a BR video, um, probably the last video today. This is the first video today, and I'll probably have another one for the last video of the day. The next video, uh, 1 p.m. Central, will be a ranked seasons game. And then I think at 4 p.m., I'm going to bring you guys some events. I do still need to get back to my pack and play. I do need to do my 150 pack opening, all that. But I kind of want to do some events for you guys, maybe get, get a little bit of that on the YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching though. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and as always, feel free to comment something down below. I love reading your guys' comments and seeing those on videos. It makes me feel really good, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much again for watching. Peace out.